going to show you how to vectorize any kind of illustration in Illustrator. It's actually very helpful, very easy. For example, this image is very small. As you can see, it's at 400%. And so it's a 100%. I think it's two inches by one inch. So it's a JPEG. There is nothing I can do. It's stuck together. And so I want to make it a vector image which will not be pixelated and which will be able to be extended as wide and high as I want and also I'll be able to modify every single object in that image. So to do that it's actually very easy. Uh, first of all uh, right now we are on the workspace essentials. And in order to have a little bit more, you can experiment with the different workspaces. But for tracing, you can just go to tracing and it will bring everything you need to the front. So as you can see up above here, there is a button called image trace. And this is what we are going to do. So press on image trace. And by default, this is the result that you get. So if you're not familiar with it, this could freak you out, but that's exactly what you want. As you can see here, you have a number of presets, you have different views, and at the end here, if you go to image trace, you also have a ton of items here. You may start with something like this. You just have to click on the arrow to pull down the advanced options. So now let's get back to our lion. I am looking at the tracing result. I am now going to go into 16 colors. And as you can see, the lion is here. Now, this is choosing 16 colors to represent my image. I can look at the tracing result with the outline and this will be all the elements I'm able to modify, move, change colors, update, do anything I want with. This is strictly the outlines, outlines with the source image in the background and the source image. So you don't really want to stay on source image, otherwise you don't get to see what you're changing. For example, if I turn it into shades of gray, now you're not seeing any difference. But actually, if you go to tracing results, pa -pam, that is now what my image would look like if I were to accept this tracing result. But I don't want it to be in gray, even though that's really beautiful. I want to remain with the original colors of the graphic. So let's see a little bit. High fidelity photo will be something you use for very, very complex images where you really want to have a ton of availability uh, and a lot of detail. Low fidelity photo. Already you see how much easier and smoother it is. It's actually a lot easier for that graphic. But since it's a very simple graphic, I think, well, maybe if we do three colors, it's going to be very limited. You see three colors, not so sure. Six colors. You see the details are starting to come back. 16 colors. And now it's much more vivid. There is a lot more coloring going on. So uh, let's say we are happy with this. I want to go to the details here. So you can change here. You can add colors. You can delete colors. You have a lot more availability for details here. And that will be for a more advanced class. But at least you get to see how they are. You know, in most instances, what you want to do is play uh, with the buttons until you become familiar with the tool you're using and at some point it becomes your second nature. So most definitely under advanced, you can look at the path that it creates. You see the difference. This is very low number of paths. In fact, let me show it to you with the outline. Well, let's do outlines with source image. So you see the path here. compared to here. There's a lot more detail and complexity on this one. Same here, corners. This is low, 0%. This 
else is not making a difference. You see how there is almost nothing picked on this one. So you definitely don't want that. In order to have all the moustache picked up, you want to be here. All right, so let's go back to the tracing results. And now, you can see the same results here. You see how it's cleaning up the path. You see how that has become like all square and not as attractive. So you want to really work on your image with your eyes and make sure this is more or less what you want. So now you click on expand and your image has turned into a vector art. So there are no more pixels in it. So this is a totally separate element. This, 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 everything has become editable. In fact, let's go into our colors and go to the palette and say, for example, um, kid stuff. And I'm going to turn the clouds to blue. And that's very easily done, as you can see. So you can play with it as much as you want. You can change pretty much anything you want in that picture. Well, you get the idea. I can also remove everything. and only keep the image I want. And that, as you can see, can be made as big as I want. Everything can be edited and reviewed. So this is really a very basic way of dealing with tracing in Illustrator. That's very easy to do and I hope you will get the use of it. Have a beautiful day. So now if you don't mind, take a second to write me a comment below to let me know how you find these tools. It's really an easy task today. I wanted to make sure that you knew the tools that are available to you to make that happen. And I hope you come back to Katya's Buzz. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get more videos like this. Press like and follow me. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. See you.